Now, if I want to make uh, changes to the settings like outside, like for all of my classes, that's going to be over here where the three lines are. When you see three dots, you see three lines in Google. There's something amazing in there. So, so check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and click on those three lines. And these are all the Google Classrooms I'm associated with. And down at the very, very bottom, some people don't even know this is here, there is a settings. And I'm going to click on that settings. All right. And it's going to ask me if I want email notifications. Now, I get this question a lot. You know, I am getting notified every time somebody is clicking here and I've got seven classes. How can I prevent them from, from you know, coming into my mailbox? So for me, because I'm a part of so many Google Classrooms, I have my email notifications completely turned off. Um, but if I turn them on now, I have the ability to kind of customize my classes. So classes that I'm enrolled in as a student, I can, um, I, I can have it remind me of different things. Classes that I teach, I can have when, when people submit work, et cetera, et cetera, and class notifications. So if I click down the list here, notice these are all turned off. So, but it, if I wanted my notifications just to happen for my new Google class, I can turn that one on and all the rest of them aren't going to notify me if somebody adds something to the classroom or turn something in or ask a question or whatever. But for my new Google class, my one I just created, now I will get those email notifications if I need to. Or if I, I'm just not sure if I've got the right classes, I can actually turn all my email notifications completely off, which is the way I normally have it. And then I won't be getting any of those notifications. And remember, this is over here in the three lines all the way down at the bottom underneath all of the, the classes that you have. All right. And speaking of the classes that you have, every once in a while, you might find that one of your classes isn't there and may have looks like it's disappeared. One place that you want to check is in the archived classes. So if you click on the archived classes, I have a ton of that are in here. But if I want to remove these classes, this is how I have to do it. I have to archive the classroom first. And the reason they don't want you just to delete it is because you may have second thoughts about that. You may say, you know what, I'm going to put it in the archive for a while, put it up in the attic. And I'll leave it up there for a little while in case somebody might come back and they might need something from that Google Classroom. Maybe they need a report. Maybe they need something. And that way you still have it. At some point, though, you can say, you know what? I think I don't think I need uh, this new teacher PD from three years ago any longer. So what you can do then is you can uh, move it. And I did not create this one. Somebody else created this one because I don't have the ability to um, delete this one. But if I have a new tech for teachers class here, I did create this one. This one's probably three years old as well. I can delete it because I created it. I'm allowed to delete it. So that's something else. So if you're part of a classroom, that somebody else created, you can archive it to kind of get it out of your way, but you won't be able to delete it. It'll still kind of still be in your stuff. Or if you, until you remove yourself from the class, if you want to do that as well. Okay. And those are really all the settings that are in Google Classroom.